Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Is everything okay? Okay. Great. Happy to hear that. All right. Let's begin. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry? What about you? I'm doing good. Thank you very much. Very good. <laughs> Thank Are you, you ready for the class? Absolutely. Always. Very All the good. time. <laughs> okay, great. We're going to begin. If you just give me a second here. I believe uh, they're going to give you some instructions. Okay, but uh, just let me find the file here. Just a moment. Okay. All right, perfect. Just give me a second as I send a message, which is very important. Oh no, I just did. Okay, everybody. Just a moment. Okay. Now I'm going to start sharing the screen with you. There it is. Can everybody see it? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, as usual, we're going to take attendance. That's going to be the first thing today. And uh, today is Monday the 23rd. So um, when I call out your name, please let me know you're here. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Present. Thank you. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aila. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Present teacher. Sorry, I just sneezed. <laughs> Claudia, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Gladys Imelda Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Is Jasmine here? Jose Luis Hernandez Flores. Present. Thank you. Josue Isaías Najarro Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela Portillo Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enriquez Herrera. Present. Thank you. Manuel Aristides Murcia. I have a chat entry here. Manuel Aristides dice por audio no es oh, por, no audio por hoy estaré solo escucha. Okay. Thank you, Manuel. Um, aquí está Manuel. Okay. Olivia Manuel Osorio Panameño. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Walter René Quintanilla González. Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Um, Alguien que no haya escuchado su nombre, que a lo mejor se incorporó mientras, bueno, tal vez después que yo lo haya mencionado. Let's see. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Paola María Alvarado Cerón. 
Paola María Alvarado Cerón. Walter René Quintanilla González. No? Okay, then. I'm going to call attendance again at the end of the class. Now, everybody, let's take a good look at this. Uh, today, we start the second part of, um, of this level, which is Inglés Preavanzado Moludos. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. And this is session four. And today is January 23rd of 2023. Everybody, be welcome. So uh, first, I want you to take a look at this. I'm going to try to improve the quality of this image because it looks a little, doesn't look very well. Just give me a second. Um, very quickly. Okay, a little bit better. So this is the world we live in and we have the snapshot. This is the first part of today's class. So take a look. Waste not, want not some alarming facts. In his or her lifetime, that means in all your life, okay, the average American born in the 1990s will, okay, ah, we have Jasmine here, present. Thank you, Jasmine. So um, I need a volunteer to read this, please. In his or her lifetime, the average American born in the 1990s will. I have another chat entry here. Paola Maria says present. Okay, thank you. Who who can help me read this, please? Provecho los que cenan. Okay, hay varios que están cenando por ahí. All right. Mm -hmm. Who can help me read it? A volunteer to help me read the facts, please. No volunteers today. Okay, I guess I'll do it. Ever de Jesus. Okay, please. Okay, good evening, everyone. Um, good evening. The old test picture. Sign the word. Uh huh. Waste not, want not. So I want you to help me read the five facts that you have here. In his or her lifetime, the average American born in the 1990s will. Okay. Wear and throw away 150 pairs of shoes and boots. Mm -hmm. The second one threw away uh, 27,500 newspapers out of seven trees a year. Mm -hmm. And the third one used more than eight, no, 19, no, 28,000. <laughs> 28,000 gallons. I don't know, 106, no. 106,000 liters of gasoline mm -hmm. create over 110,000 pounds. It's like uh, 15, yes, 15,000 kilograms of trash. Kilograms of trash. And the, uh -huh. and the last one used 80 to 100 gallons. It's like uh, 303 to 378 liters of water every day. Yeah, that's a lot of resources right there. So thank you, Ever. In his or her lifetime, the average American born in the 1990s will. Look at this. Wear and throw away 115 pairs of shoes and boots. That's a lot. Throw away. 27,500 newspapers. That means about seven trees a year. It's a lot of paper. So use more than 28,000 gallons or 106,000 liters of gasoline. That's a lot. Create over 110,000 pounds or 50,000 kilograms of trash. It's pure garbage. And use 80 to 100 gallons or 300 that's 303, 378 liters of water every day. So the source, Life's Being Instructions book, the Stevens Institute of Technology. So this was, um, this data was getting from, was, was gotten, I'm sorry, from investigation. So let's take a look at this. This is the world we live in, and this is the snapshot. First thing we have to take a look at is this, perspectives. 
clean up our city. Looks a little blurry. I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to improve a little bit by increasing the sharpness of it, maybe like this. Okay, looks a bit better. So I want you to take a look at this. Uh, this is an election campaign, okay? This lady is running uh, for press, probably not president, but she's running for the city council. So what kinds of problem does Roberta Chang want to fix? So vote for Roberta Chang, city council. Roberta Chang will clean up Cradville. That's the name of the city. Have you noticed these problems in our city? Okay, I need a volunteer to help me read the first one, please. Just the first one. And then a different volunteer for number two, number three, four, five, and six. Gladys, then Rosa. Okay, uh, we need four more. Chair, I have a question. Yes. This council is um, council? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The city council. Okay. Yeah, it's a form of government. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's see. We have Gladys first, then uh, Sandra, Cecilia, and then Jenny Sanchez, and then three more people to help me read the rest. So um, let's do it. Gladys Imelda. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Yeah, the air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks, okay? Thank you, uh, Sandra Cecilia. Broadway have, have been jumped because of, of people depend on cars. Yeah, the roadways have been jammed. Okay, there are a lot of cars and nothing moves because of people's dependence on cars. Very good. Then we have Jenny Sanchez, then Jose Luis, and then Astrid Michel. Mm -hmm. Jenny Sanchez? Okay. Our city, I'm sorry. Our okay. city streets are being, being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Our city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Thank you very much, Jenny. The next one is for Jose Luis Hernandez Flores. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding, okay? They built too many houses, and that's a problem right there. Thank you. Astrid Michel, the next one, please. The homeless have been displaced from city shelters due to overcrowding. Yeah, the homeless, that means the people who don't have a house, have been displaced, okay, from city shelters due to overcrowding. Very good. And the last one. Thank you, Esther. The last one. Who can help me read it? Please. One more volunteer. Or if you want to participate again, that's okay. Carlos Alfredo Ramos. Thank you. Okay. Our fresh water supply is being de depleted. Depleted. Through over depleted. Mm -hmm. Through over overuse by people who don't conserve. Mm -hmm. Our fresh water supply is being depleted. That means soon we will not have any more. It's being depleted through overuse by people who don't conserve. Okay, that's it. I believe we have a visitor today. We have Leslie Victoria Morang Miron. Okay, um, I think she has a special announcement. Uh, Victoria? Hola, hola, muy buenas noches a todos. Gracias, teacher, por el espacio. No les quito mucho de su tiempo. Únicamente eh, les hago el recordatorio, ¿verdad? Que es indispensable y obligatorio que vayan al día con la plataforma educativa. Tienen que ir adelantando, quieren, eh, deben ir trabajando. El teacher les va apoyando también con algunas actividades que ustedes pues eh, consideren que les está bloqueando el progreso en su, en su plataforma, ¿ok? Del mismo modo, eh, saben que nosotros como gestores estamos pendientes de su progreso si ustedes tienen algún inconveniente con algún ejercicio no duden en escribirnos nosotros estamos eh, para servirles para ayudarles con muchísimo gusto eh, nos interesa verdad que vayan aprendiendo de la mejor manera 
Así que nada, eso es lo único que les pedimos, ¿verdad? Recuerden que es mejor ir adelantados que ir atrasados. Así que ustedes siéntanse en completa libertad de ir avanzando. Si creen que el ejercicio, pues, eh, ustedes no tienen ningún problema con irlo resolviendo, ustedes vayan adelantando, ¿ok? Gracias por el espacio, teacher. Pasen feliz noche. Muchas sí. gracias, Victoria. Ok, now everybody, I want you to take a look at this. Um, who knows the answer to this question? What structure are we using in all these sentences? Let's see if you can recognize it. ¿Qué estructura es la que estamos ocupando en cada una de estas oraciones? The passive voice. That is correct. Thank you, Carlos. That is the passive voice. In the six sentences right here, we are using the passive voice. Again, you have the air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. That means the fumes from cars and trucks are polluting the air. In every sentence, they are using the passive voice. So take a look. What are we going to do? Lesson objective. This is 2.0 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to describe causes with by, because of, due to, through, and as a result of, you will do so by using present continuous passive and the present perfect passive. Take a look. So here's the grammar focus. Just going to, again, just improve this because it looks blurry. Give me a moment. Okay, that looks better. So grammar focus, um, you have the passive with prepositions. So how does it work? This is the present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Okay. Now, if you remember when we have studied the passive voice together, well, some of you were my students, some of you weren't. Normally, you use by when you want to um, address the doer of the action or the agent. However, by is not the only preposition or phrase that you can use. There are others. For example, you can use as a result of. That's one. Let's take a look at the present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Because of, that's another expression that you can use instead of by. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. Through is another one. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Okay, so again, you can use by, but that's not the only option you have. You can also use as a result of, because of, through, and due to. All those are available, and as long as they're logical, you can use them. But then again, uh, the, the material that we have in the manual is a little bit, um, it, it's good, okay, but we can expand it. And that's part of my job. So I want you to take a look at this. Here's the present continuous passive. So what is the structure of that? The structure is here. You have to use is being or are being plus a verb in past participle. Okay, that's the structure basically. But to do this, you have to identify a series of elements. And that's very, very important. Everybody, I want you to take a close uh, look at this. You have an active sentence. Fumes from cars and trucks are polluting the air. First thing that you need to identify, that's the verb. What's the verb here? Who can tell me? The air. The air, that's the object, actually. But uh, what about the verb? Fumes from the car. From car and Fumes trucks. from cars and trucks, that's the subject. Are. <laughs> are. 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 Only are? Are you sure? Polluting. Are polluting. Okay, all that is the verb. Okay, correct. 
All that counts as the verb. And um, what verb tense is that? Is it past simple, present simple, present perfect, present continuous? What is it? Present continuous. It's present continuous. Okay, that's right. It is present continuous. There you go. Now, there are two more things that you need to identify. One is the subject and the other one is the object of the verb. What is the subject in this sentence? What will be the subject? Oh my God. <laughs> Cars and trucks. Cars and trucks. Um, incomplete, but yeah, I mean, partially correct. More words are needed. What is the subject here? The air. the air. The air is actually the object, not the subject. But we will Fumes explain that. Uh -huh. Fumes from cars and trucks. Fumes from cars and trucks. That's right. All that is the subject. Okay. Fumes from cars and trucks are polluting the air. So to find the object, and this is very important because this is the most important thing you need to identify to you know, make a passive sentence. You are going to ask yourself a question. You say, fumes from cars and trucks are polluting what? And the answer to that question is the object. So what's the object in this sentence? The air. The air, that's right. Again, you find the object by asking yourself the question, what? after the verb. Fumes from cars and trucks are polluting what? The air. OK, that's the object. There you go. So to make a passive sentence, now that you have identified all these elements, you just need to take the object from the active sentence and you put it at the beginning of the passive sentence. And there you go. You say, the air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. How do you do this? Again, you take the object from the active sentence, you put it at the beginning of the passive sentence, and then you have to use the verb be. And because we have the present continuous, you have to use the verb be in present continuous. Okay, that means you need to use is being or are being. And after that, the main verb, which is pollute in past participle. The air is being polluted by and after that, you take the agent from the active sentence, fumes from cars and trucks. That's your passive construction right there. Let's take a look at a second example. Heavy traffic is damaging our city streets. Okay, heavy traffic is damaging our city streets. So what's the verb here? It's damaging. It's damaging. Yeah, that's right. That's the verb. And again, it's in present continuous. Okay. What's the subject? Heavy, heavy traffic. traffic. Heavy traffic. That's correct. Now, to find the object, you have to ask yourself the question, what? Heavy traffic is damaging what? Our city streets. Our city streets. That is then the object. Good. Now, you have to take the object, you put it at the beginning of the passive sentence, then you have to use the verb be in present continuous form, then you use the main verb in past participle, which is damage, but in past participle, and then you can finish with a uh, by or as a result of, etc., etc. So now you have our city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. There you go. That is pressing continuous passive. But that's not it, okay? We also have present perfect passive, <laughs> which basically follows a very similar formula. Take a look. This is present perfect 
pa passive, I'm sorry. What is the structure? You have to use have been or has been plus a verb in past participle. So the same idea occurs here. You have to find the verb, you have to find the subject, and you have to find the object. So in the first sentence, people's dependence on cars has jammed the roadways. What is the verb here? Has jammed. Has jammed, that's right, that's the verb. And what verb tense is that? What verb tense is that? Mm -hmm. Is it present continuous or a different verb tense now? Present perfect. Now it is present perfect. That is correct. There you go. Now it's time to find the subject. What's the subject? People's dependence on cars. People's dependence on cars. Es la dependencia de las personas utilizar el vehículo. So people's dependence on cars, that's the subject. Okay, now to find the object, you just ask yourself the question, people dependence on cars has jammed what? And the answer is? The roadways. The roadways, so the roadways is the object. And now, you put it at the beginning. So uh, what is the sentence now? The roadways, and then, because it is plural, you say have been, have been, and then the main verb in past participle, have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. There you go. What about the second example? Overcrowding has displaced the homeless from city shelters. The verb again is here, has displayed. And again, it's in present, sorry, it says present continuous, made a mistake right there. Okay, now that looks better. I apologize. <laughs> Human mistakes. Okay, so present perfect. There you go. The tense is perfect, the teacher is not. So uh, let's take a look. What is the subject here? Overcrowding. Overcrowding is the subject, correct. And now you have overcrowded has displaced what or who? Mm -hmm. The homeless. The homeless from city shelters. Good, but I will say there are too many words there. You can use fewer words. The homeless. Just the homeless, correct. Mm -hmm. Overcrowding has displaced who? The homeless. That's what overcrowding has displaced, the homeless. Now, again, you take the, the object from the active sentence, you put it at the beginning of the passive sentence and you have the homeless have been displaced from city shelters. Okay, this is the part that completes the sentence due to overcrowding. That's how you do it. It is very important that you identify the verb and the verb tense. Sometimes it is going to be present continuous some other times it is going to be present perfect for the exercises we're going to study today, of course. Before we continue, do you have any questions? Because the exercises follow now. I understand that you've been doing some of these exercises on your own. So um, do you have any questions before we continue? No questions? Okay, then we'll continue now. So again, I think this deserves some sharpening. Okay. Well, first part, pair work match the photographs of environmental problems with the sentences below. 
What about the first one? Air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. Then you have livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground, underground water. The burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain. The use of CF, uh, sorry, CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer. The destruction of rainforests is harming rare plants and wild, wildlife. And the growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland. So, just let me find animations. Okay. What about this picture right here? Which sentence is that? We're going to be moving like this. This is number two, right? Livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground, underground water. This is number two. What about this one? What number is that? You can raise your hand. What sentence does this picture represent? Gladys Imelda. Air pollution, the first one. The first one, okay. Can you help me read it? Air pollution is threatening the threatening. health of people. Uh -huh. so, sorry, threatening. Threatening mm -hmm. the health of people in urban areas. In urban areas, correct. Very good, thank you, Gladys Imelda. What about this picture right here? What sentence is it representing? Raise your hand. There's number five, teacher. Uh, okay, <laughs> thank you. All right, um, yeah, it is number five. Okay, Olivia, sorry, you go for the next one. Yeah, is uh, the destruction of uh, rainforest is harming rare plants and wildlife. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, so always raise your hands. Um, what about the next one? Who has it? Who can tell me, please? Gladys Imelda, please. The third. Mm -hmm. Can you read it? The burning of gas, oil, and coal has created let me check. Has created as acid rain. It's created acid rain. Yeah, that's right. The burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain. Very good. Astrid Michel, the next one, please. Number six, the ground of superb has eaten up huge amounts of farmland. Yeah, the growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland. Very good. Thank you, Astrid. And the last one, which is the only one available now. What is that? Number four. Okay, thank you, Jasmine. Can you read it, please? The use of CFC in product. Mm -hmm. In products? Oh, I think Jasmine lost connection or something. I can hear her. Okay, um, the use of CFC in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer. That's right. Now, what are we going to do right after you this? Can you hear me, mister? Uh, just the beginning. After oh. that, um, uh, your picture completely froze, okay? And I couldn't hear anything. Do you want function. to read it? Yeah. You're in a very dark room. <laughs> okay. Well, can you can you read it then, please, Jasmine? Because we couldn't hear you. Okay. The, the use of CFCs in products like Harvard Spray has great... Has created? Okay, again, it's happening again. Um, 
well, sorry, I think it, th there's a connectivity problem right there. So the use of CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer. Now, what are we going to do here? Take a look. Again, let's sharpen this. Forgot to do this last night. So um, what do I want you to do right here? I want you to work together. Okay, and I'm going to give you, um, you're going to be working in the breakout rooms now because I want you to work together to turn these uh, six sentences. These are all active sentences. I want you to convert them into the passive voice. And I want you to use the prepositions and the phrases on, in parentheses. So you have, I'm going to give you an example. The first one's going to be an example and then you can solve the other five or you can do the other five, I'm sorry. Air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas and you have to use by. So you have this, the health of people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. That's the first one. So I'm giving you the first one. I want you to work in breakout rooms. We're going to form them right now. We have 18 people. So yeah, that's a good number. Let's see. Um, we're going to form, let's see, five groups. Okay, three to four people per group. Okay, so that there aren't too many. So I'm going to create the rooms now. Now, room number one, the members are Carlos Alfredo Ramos, Ever de Jesús Candray, Yasmín Vanessa Sosa, and Manuel Aristides Murcia. Okay, that's room number one. Room number two, Gladys Imelda Sánchez, Lilian Estela Portillo, Olivia Osorio, and Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Room number three, Alejandra Magaña, Gabriela Cortés, José Luis Hernández Flores, and Jenny Sánchez. Room number four, Josué Isaías Najarro, Paola María Alvarado, and Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. And in room number five, Astrid Michelle Flores, Claudia Iraeta, Claudia Yanet Iraeta, and Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Okay, so I'm going to form the breakout rooms now. Please, everybody, join them. And again, I insist, please, please, please work together. Okay. Por favor, por favor, les pido, trabajen juntos. No se queden ahí calladitos solo viendo cómo el compañero, dos compañeros platican. Por favor, que sea una interacción entre todos los integrantes del grupo, ¿verdad? Ok, here we go. I'm going to open the breaker rooms. Please, everybody, join your group. And let's begin this. Let's do this. Ok, then we're going to check answers. Everybody, please, join your breaker rooms. I just sent you the sentences via WhatsApp. Okay, so you can check the WhatsApp group right now and you will find them right there. Um, Astrid Michelle and Carlos Alfredo. Okay, thank you, Carlos Alfredo. Um, can you join the breakout room, please? Carlos, are you there? Okay, I'm going to, everybody, I'm going to uh, join the breakout rooms now. The number, mm -hmm. the first, uh, in urban areas is being trained I that was the example by air pollution uh, that was the, the example I gave you right the health of people in urban areas is being threatened 
by air pollution. So we're going to start um, with number two, then number three, four, five, and six. Okay. 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 Jasmine, can you see the, the, the subject of this? How did we change for the object or the subject? And I think I saw an underground weather have contaminator. Have been contaminated. A big contaminator have mm -hmm. been, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I've been contaminated because of livestock farm. Okay, that sounds good. Soil and underground water have been contaminated uh, because of livestock farms. Okay? okay, that sounds great. Okay. And the third one, Jesse? How are you feeling about this? Um, I want you to continue. I'm going to visit another room. See you later. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. See I you think uh, the subject is Asian. Or, or, yeah. Mm, have contaminated because of no, no. <laughs> that it's difficult. Let's try again. Try again. Okay. Soil and underground water uh -huh. have been contaminated, contaminated because of livestock farm. Livestock farms. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. La clave siempre es la misma. Primero hay que identificar el verbo y el tiempo verbal en el que está. Dice ahí, have contaminated. Ah, eso es present perfect. Uh -huh. Eso nos va a decir si vamos a ocupar have been or, is or has been, been or are... is being, are being, ¿verdad? Luego hay que encontrar el subject que sería livestock farms. Y luego encontramos el object. Livestock farms have contaminated what? Soil and underground water. Ese es el object. Es el que vamos a ocupar al principio. Uh -huh. Okay. It's like a formula. Uh -huh. okay. What about number three? Number three. Here the, the, the verb is has created. Has created. Uh -huh. The subject, burning of gas, oil, and coal. Mm -hmm. And the object, acid rain. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Acid rain. So, and so we, acid rain has been created. Has been created? As a result of. The burning of gas, oil, and coal. Bingo. There you go. Acid rain has been created as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. Okay. There you go. Okay, ladies, uh, please continue. I have to visit some other breakout rooms. See you a little bit later. Okay. So. Yeah. It's the teacher, the teacher, the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. God, are you working to, uh, in, in a group or individually? I think in you're working group? individual. You're working in a group, but individually at the same time. <laughs> in a group, but, but in this moment, I don't it, understand the number five. Number five. Okay, the destruction of rainforests is harming rare plants and wildlife. Okay, 
So always remember the first thing you need to find is the verb. What is the verb here? Is harming. Is harming. Correct. It is is harming. Subject. The the destruction of Only, rainforest. Uh, uh, the destruction of rainforest. Okay, good. So now you say the destruction of rainforest is harming what? Rare plants and wildlife. Correct. So that is? The object. The object. Okay, great. Now you have identified all the elements. Now you have to put the object at the beginning of the passive sentence. So what do you have this time? Rare plants, rare plants and wildlife. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh are? Are? Har mm, I don't know. Not exactly. It, it, you have to use, uh, okay. In the, uh, in the original active sentence, you identified is harming as the verb structure. So what verb tense is that? Is it present continuous or present perfect? Continuous. It's present it's continuous. continuous. That's right. So that means mm -hmm. you have to use the verb be in present continuous. Going back to the passive sentence, rare plants and wildlife are being. Are being. Are okay. being. Are being harmed. Harmed. Correct. The main verb in past participle. So rare plants and wildlife are being harmed. Then. Through the destruction of rainforest. Through the destruction of rainforest. There you go. That's the sentence. Again. And the, and uh -huh. the word through. Through. Ah, you have it there. Rare plants and wildlife are being harmed through the destruction of rainforests. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. There you go. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. I have to visit another group now. So see you later. See you later. The, sí, uh, present de la... continuous and present perfect. Present perfect, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi. Teacher, we finished. You finished the exercise? Good. Yes. What about uh -huh. number six? The growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland. <laughs> How about this one? A huge amount. Of, of farmland uh, have been eaten up due to growth of suburbs. Okay, very good, nice. All right, so well, if you have finished, I'm going to go visit the final breaker room. <laughs> okay, <I> just <laughs> wait a little bit. Okay, I need to monitor uh, the guys in the final breaker room and then I'm going to close them all and then we're going to check answers. All right, see you in a okay. few minutes. See you. Huge, huge amounts of fur have been eaten up due to the growth of swords. Bingo. It's, it's correct. correct. Yes, absolutely. Huge amounts okay. of farmland have been eaten up due to the growth of suburbs. Good. You have finished the exercise, right? Okay. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. I'm going to close the breaker rooms then, and um, after a minute, we're going to check the answers together. Okay? See you in a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm going to close the breaker rooms now. So um, after a minute, we're going to check answers. Okay, here we go.
45 seconds. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay, time to check answers. Um, I'm going to share the screen again. There it is. Okay, so the first one is the example. Okay, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. Okay, what about number two? I need a volunteer. Please raise your hand. Siempre acuérdense de levantar la mano. Son lo primero. Okay, so. Raise your hand, please. And uh, I need a volunteer for the second one. Oh, come on. Paola Maria, and then Astrid Michelle, number three, Ever de Jesus, number four. Okay, so uh, Paola, livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. You have to use because of. And number one. Um, number one is the example on the screen. Okay. You go with number, number two. two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, soil and underground water had been contaminated because of livestock farms. Because of livestock farms. Give me a second. Okay. Just uh, if you can repeat, please. Soil and underground water, please. That part. Soil and underground water had been contaminated. Have been, right? Okay, have been contaminated. There you go, because of livestock farms. There's a period right there that is not supposed to be there. Okay, there it is. Thank you, that is correct. Soil and underground water have been contaminated because of livestock farms. Thank you very much. Then, uh, there was a lady raising her hand, but... Me, teacher. Who was it? Astrid. Astrid, okay, Astrid, and then Ever. Okay, Astrid, number three. The burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain, and you have to use as a result of... Acid rain has been created as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. Great, okay. Acid rain has been created as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. Very good. Okay, so um, number four was uh, Ever. Do, do you still want to participate? Yes, sir. Okay, number four. The use of CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer. You have to use through. Okay. Uh, a hole in the ozone layer has been created through the use of the CDS like air spray. Okay. A hole in the ozone layer has been created through the use of CFCs in products like hair, hair and spray. I'm sorry. There was, I was tired last night when I was doing this. I apologize. <laughs> so like hairspray, that's the one. Correct, Ever. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good. Great. What about number five? Who can help me with number five? Just raise your hand. Don't be afraid. Sandra Cecilia Munguia. And then Lilian Estela, you will help us with number six. Okay. Sandra Cecilia, number five. The destruction of rainforests is harming rare plants and wildlife. You have to use through. Uh, rare plants and wildlife is being harmed through the destruction of rainforest. Good, but there is one little problem. Subject verb agreeing, agreement. You have plants and wildlife. 
two things right there. We cannot say is. You have to use. Uh, are. Uh -huh. are. Can you repeat it, please? Rare, rare plants and wildlife are being armed through the destruction of rainforests. That's right. It's uh, rare plants and wildlife are being harmed through the destruction of rainforests. That is correct. Thank you, Sandra. Very good. And number six, Lilian Estela Portillo. The growth yes. of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland. You have to use due to. Okay. Huge amount of farmland have been eaten up due to the ground of suburbs. Great. Huge amounts of farmland have been eating up due to the growth of suburbs. That is great. Okay. And this exercise in the platform is knowledge check 2.2. All right. Which is good. This is great practice right there for everybody. Okay. Um, now, what's next? I think it is kind of late, 8.57. So um, I have an exercise right here, but it's a little bit long. And I don't think we'll be able to complete it in just three minutes. It's, it's, it's going to take a little bit longer than that. So we're probably going to do it tomorrow, first thing when we start the class. So um, before we finish, just going to go over this one more time very quickly. OK, and then I'm going to call the attendance one more time, uh, just in case um, uh, someone's missing right there. So again, we're studying here the passive voice, OK? Uh, you can use the passive voice in any verb tense, basically. You can use it in present simple, past simple, uh, present continuous, present perfect, past continuous. Uh, you can use it with the models also. So uh, right now, we have present continuous passive. Just remember this. You have to use is being or are being. You will use is being if the subject, which was the object in the previous sentence, in the previous active sentence, is he, she, or it. Our being is if it is you, we, or they. And then you have to use the past participle, like here. Fumes from cars and trucks are polluting the air. This is present continuous, so you have to use the verb being present continuous. And then you say uh, the air, right, is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Second example, heavy traffic is damaging our city streets. Again, this is the verb. Again, it is in present continuous. Heavy traffic is the subject or the agent in this case, and our city streets, that's the object. So you say our city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Okay, so that's the important thing here. Subject verb agreement. Okay, if, if the subject in the passive sentence, it is he, she, or it, then you say is being. If it is you, we, or they, you say are being and then the past participle. Now, something similar happens with the present perfect passive. In this case, you have to use have been and has been plus a past participle. Have been, if the subject is I, you, we, or they. Has been, if the subject is he, she, or it, okay? Now, people's dependence on cars has jammed the roadways. Again, you have the verb, which is has jammed, this is in present perfect. People's dependence on cars is the subject, the roadways is the object. So you put the object at the beginning, and now you have the roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Second and final example, overcrowding has displaced the homes of the homeless, I'm sorry, from city shelters. So has displaced is the verb. Again, it's present perfect. Overcrowding becomes a subject. The homeless is the object, but only that, OK? So uh, you put it at the beginning, and you have the homeless have been displaced from city shelters due to overcrowding. So that's pretty much where we're standing today. Tomorrow, um, well, we, today we completed this exercise, but tomorrow we're going to do uh, an extra exercise right here, but that's not for today because we just ran out of time. So uh, we're going to solve it tomorrow. You're going to be making some extra sentences in the passive voice using the prepositions uh, given in parentheses. So right now, I'm just going to I'll call the attendance one more time, just in case someone um, joined us um, after we started the class today. Well, there's only one person, actually. OK, the rest of you are here. Is uh, René, so, sorry, Walter René Quintanilla González. Walter René Quintanilla González, are you here? 
Nope. Let me check manually. Let's see, Walter. No, apparently not. Okay, then. I'm taking registry of attendance now. And uh, finally, um, just as a reminder, just as uh, um, just a moment ago, uh, Victoria came into the room and, and told you, just remember to work on the platform. Okay, try to, uh, you know, do some exercises in advance. Okay, remember that all that is taken into consideration for your final grade. Okay, and your right to participate in the next course. So everybody, thank you very much. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your cooperation. Thanks for your participation. I know it's difficult at this time. I know you're tired. I know you're hungry and, and whatnot. Okay, but I appreciate that you are here and I appreciate the fact that you're participating and I, I think and I believe that you're learning right now. You just showed me that you're learning and I'm very happy to see the results. So everybody, thank you. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good Thank night. You. Take care. Take care. Good night.